Hello, um, in this video we'll be looking at the equation of a straight line, um, underlined by a line there, that's not straight at all. Anyway, the equation of a straight line that you may remember from uh, mathematics is y equals mx plus c. So, let's draw a graph. This is the y-axis. This is the x-axis. And let's draw a straight line like that. OK, there you go. And let's call this axis. No, so 1, 2, 3, 4. And here maybe 2, 4, 6. OK, so there you go. There's our, our straight line. In fact, it would go on forever. But we're not going to have any negative values because this is uh, physics and we don't always want negative values. Now, what we're going to do is, is, is look at what the M and the X stand for. Now, M stands for the gradient and C is where it cuts um, the Y axis. So the gradient is, um, is simply calculated by the change in Y divided by the change in X. So, and we write this as m is equal to the change in y divided by the change in x. And we can take any two points on that line to find the gradient. Now, it's always better to take two points that are a long way apart from each other. So we take, um, let's say, a point here and a point there. OK. Now, in fact, we won't. Because this is a long line, we're going to actually, and say we carry on 6, 8, 10, we're going to go all the way up to there. Because the bigger the triangle we draw, the more accurate the result. And the examiners like it as well. So that bit, that bit there is the change in y. And that bit there from there to there is a change in x. So on this particular graph here, and I'm going to try and get a value actually, is m equals change in y, well that goes from 1 up to, oh that there looks about 5, so that would be 5 to 1, that would be 4, 5 minus 1 is 4, divided by the change in x, or that's 10, minus no that's 10 so the gradient is 4 tenths so the gradient is 0.4 and c well c is where it's going to cross the waxes and it crosses the waxes at 1 so the full version would be y is equal to 0.4 x plus 1 now that should be familiar to you from mathematics, you may have forgotten it. Okay, now, well, how does it apply to physics? Well, let's rub this out. Now, in physics, we don't we don't use y and x. We use other letters. Let's give a nice simple equation. Let's use the equation um, v is equal to current times resistance. V equals IR. Now let us draw um, a graph of here. And let's say V is there and we're going to have current here. I. Now what we should um, realise is it doesn't look anything like Y or X. But we're going to say because from y equals mx plus c, the v this time represents the y, and the i we're going to say represents the x here. Okay, so we're looking for an m and a c. Now, often is the case, well, there's no, that's not the same. Well, in this case here, the C is equal to naught because it crosses here the y axis or the, the uh, 
replaced by, by the V here, by here. So we can have a, a, a line that goes something like that. So therefore, we could write that as V, which is the Y, equals M. Well, that's the gradient. Well, what is the gradient? Well, the gradient in this case is R. So we call that V equals R times I. And R in this case here represents the gradient. And we find the gradient by simply a change in, let's draw a big triangle. That would be the change in the value of V divided by the change in the value of I, which mirrors um, what we did for y equals mx plus c.